As with most things in Revit, there's more than one way to accomplish a task, and obviously there's more than one way to add a 45 degree door swing, but in this example, we're going to keep it pretty simple. We're going to add symbolic line work to represent the 45 degree swing, and then we're going to control the visibility of that with on-off parameters. This video is going to cover option one, which means we're going to have basically two symbolic representations of the door swing, one at 90 and one at 45, and then we're going to control that with a visibility parameter. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the ground floor, and I've combined my um, palettes here, so I'll just be switching back and forth between the two. You'll want to make sure that when we draw the symbolic lines, you draw them on the right line style. So it should be panel cut. So you can see that here for subcategory. And I'm just going to start with annotative lines because these are not going to be seen in any other view except for a plan view. So we'll switch this to our panel cut. You want to make sure you snap to the intersections. So type in SI to override. And then we'll just start. I don't worry about um, the length of it right now, but I do worry about the angle because that can kind of mess things up. So we'll, you know, just draw the line. Make sure you're perpendicular and draw the width. Again, it's not critical if it's exact right now because we're going to assign a parameter. So this part is critical. It needs to be the same length as what you did originally. And then SI to get back to where we were. Okay, now I'm going to just go ahead and click this so that it creates, you know, the length for me. And if I click modify, I don't want this line to move, so don't select that one. You want to select this one and we'll apply, you know, the dimension. And then we're going to go in and assign the parameters. And same thing here, this one will be width. Now you'll notice this got shrunk so it changed size essentially so and that's kind of common when we're messing with things if we did it all from scratch it may or may not do that but we can fix that we'll just you know assign the parameter to this as well so we'll select that assign the width parameter and it should adjust itself you will want to flex the model to make sure that it's holding on to that information so let's bring this over and i'm just going to switch it to a different type so a different width and say OK and make sure that it flexes. Now one thing additionally that we want to flex is the thickness of the wall because we want to make sure these things are staying where they're supposed to. So I'm going to select the wall and I'm going to create a new wall type. So wall type 2 is fine and then we'll just change its thickness. So something bigger or smaller, it doesn't matter. And we'll say OK. So as long as our door panel, you know, is holding on to its position, we should be fine. So we still have to draw the arc and the line style that's used for that is plan swing projection. So let's go ahead and do that. So again, just select the right type. And then we're going to do an arc from center. And then again, snap to intersection. And it's better if you get the reference planes rather than other lines. So you might kind of have to move around a little bit to do that. And then we're going to pick our start. So again, SI. And then our end. And I usually go ahead and assign the parameter to this one also, just because it tends to make a mess if I don't. You can try it without doing it, um, but from experience, it's generally just easier to go ahead and add it. So again, we're going to flex, so change to a different size. Height's not going to matter in this example because we're only messing with, you know, symbolic information here. And then we also want to flex the door again, or the wall. Oops. One. So let's 
flex the wall to, back to wall style one. Okay, so everything's working so far. So I'm going to stop here and then I'll do a second video that shows, you know, how to assign the parameters. At this point, you guys should have drawn, you know, the 45 degree representation. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add the parameter that's going to control, you know, whether it's on or off. So if you hover over one of the lines, press your tab key one time, and you might have to cycle through, and you might even want to try a different line so that it grabs the right things. So I want this line and I want my arc, so control key. And then I'm going to add a visibility parameter. So we're going to add a parameter. We'll call it 90 angle. Again, instance or type is kind of your call. I generally make it instance based. And then I usually group it under graphics. So we'll say OK and OK. You're not going to really see anything happen. Um, it might gray out a little bit, but when we take it into the project is when you'll be able to tell whether or not it's working properly or if you missed a line. So we need to do the same thing for the 45 and get that angle also, or arc. And then we'll assign a parameter. So 45 angle, again, instance based, and it is going to go under graphics also. So we want to be able to ensure that they can't be both on at the same time, and we can do that with the formula. So if we come in here, and you can do this across from either one, and we'll just say it's not the other, basically. So it's not the 45 angle. And then you'll notice that it toggles on and off. And since we probably want the 90 on all the time, we might want to do it the opposite. So we'll say it's not 90 angle. And then say OK. And then from here, you're going to want to open a test project and you know take it in there. So I've already done a save as, so I'm just going to save. And this will go in your custom content library. It will not go in the Imperial library. So now I'm just going to start a new project. And it doesn't matter which template. And we'll need a wall. So we'll draw a wall. And then we're going to switch views. And my screen is kind of scrunched, so you know I just kind of have to flip back and forth. So we're going to load this into our project. And then I would recommend that you place, you know, several of them with different sizes and different, you know, selections. So let's make this one uh, 30 or 32. Let's make this one 30. And then you're going to want to make sure that you change. So I didn't change that one. 30. Um, whether or not it's, you know, 45 or 90, and just make sure that it works. If it works on one, it should work on all of them. And then I would also recommend that you change the wall thickness to make sure that it's staying where it should. So that's option one.